Hello. So we are back finally Friday. And uh, uh, this time let's just make a short tutorial about how we can diagnose a board. A phone board. Yeah. I'm just thinking how 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 I should start. But I want to I want to do video from a beginner point, you know. Okay? Okay, let's do it. So what do we have here? We have a uh, iPhone A plus. This is um it's just uh, a bad uh, coincidence. The phone was booked in for LCD screen and housing the case. So <laughs> the phone was working. Yeah. And they replaced the case. And I think the screen. No, this yeah, and the screen. And uh, the phone stopped working. This can happen on any shop, you know. It's not like, you know, one from many phones. It will die on your shop. It happened so many times. Okay? So it's just a bad luck. But doesn't work, you know. Customer doesn't understand, you know, the bad luck. So you have to fix it. <laughs> okay. So let's start with this one. Plug in the charger. Plug in the charger. Because, you know, the idea of diagnosing something is to see what happened inside. So that's the idea. What happened on my board? My board is charging. So I just plug the charger because that's the external way to see something inside. Yeah. Plug in the charger, just try to think the phone it's all it's all it's all you know all together. And the first thing is what you'll see, you'll see no charging sun, you'll see no life, and actually it's taking no power. Actually it's taking some power, seven milliamps, and it's jumping up. So actually it's zero point seven milliamps and it's jumping up to four milliamps. You can see there? You remember we made so many videos about uh, diagnosing the motherboards jumping current jumping current you know always when i see jumping current that send me somewhere with my mind so let me explain you maybe you don't know how the a power a, a switching power supply it's acting on a sh short circuit uh, protection yeah so obviously all power supplies they are protected the switching ones so you create a short how the power supply knows when is no short there to output the power yes yeah, so it's a you short the power supply the power supply it will limit it will stop switching to limit the current how the power supply will know when it's not short anymore, so she can output, uh, she can start switching and output the current. Very simple. From time to time, the power supply try and start, and uh, you see the current goes up, goes up over the limit. Power supply is seeing that, and is shutting down again the the switching. Yeah, so that's how they work when they are. Um, you know, shorted. Okay. So, what do we know by now? Because, you know, we know some things. So, we know the charger is plugged in. And we know our charging IC. Because, you see, the power. Just forget about the data lines. Forget about that. The five volts from the my cable is going to the charging circuit. The charging circuit it's it's actually a power supply which is trying to output in the power and he can't. Most likely because some the output of that power supply is shorted. Yeah. That's a logical explanation of what happened here. 
okay so we know the our charging thing is fine based on this you see the current goes up even with 0 0.2 you can see it's like 0 0.2 200 milliamps yeah so i know my charging board is fine i know my charging chip is fine and he's trying to do his job he's trying to output the current but he can't and it's it's going off for some reason it's cutting down the power okay that's simple that's not complicated and you see it's not only about the iphone it's about diagnosing a problem on any phone and any device yeah now the the easy way to go inside you know i want to see what happened inside so i want to know if if my spider my main power rail which is supplying power to everything is fine yeah exactly exactly even on the laptops even on the laptops keep in mind yeah so let's open the the board view so we need an easy way and we need an easy way to go and check our main power rail yeah and I'm when I'm saying easy way easy way is not to take the board down and take the shield out no I need a shortest way yeah I need I need I need I need some I need now I need now maybe you know maybe you open the phone you check and you have to call the customer and tell him the price or I don't know but I want to know before before yeah so let me open the board uh, the phone board software which is a free software phones I remember last time on the last iPhone video people told me actually it's a a better software with schematics but I will try to check and uh, I will let you know yeah iPhone iPhone A plus so you know when where I want to go I want to go can I search main VCC do I have something like that here no no okay I want to go I want to go here so this point was the name okay yeah, give me one second give me one second okay so this is called by this software ppvdd main which probably is the main uh, power rail so actually what is this it's just a big truck which is going everywhere and is supplying uh, power to everything like how you can see here how you can see the, here this is a big truck you see the gray one is ground the ground is everywhere and these red dots are actually are actually linked together so all the red dots just think on your mind all the red dots are linked together yeah there should be the voltage from the battery and from the charging i see yeah so uh i don't let me explain you better let me explain you better all i want now is to go there on that big big power rail and check if that power rail is fine do i have voltage there if there is no any short it's fine it's you know that's what I want to do the problem is to go here 
I have either to take the board out or remove the back shield and uh, the idea is I need an easy way why this is okay so this is the other side of the board I can go on the processor and I can access the red dots we have access here on a dot so we do have access from outside okay that's interesting but let's ignore this let's say we don't have access oh and we have two capacitors here again we have access let's ignore this maybe you don't have uh, this software maybe it's a different phone i don't know we are not doing a tutorial for like iphone a plus so the easy way to access a main power rail on a laptop or a phone is from the battery even on the laptops yeah I never spoke about that but even on the laptops the easy way is from the battery okay so the next thing will be to check to see what we can see starting from the battery yeah just ignore the schematic maybe we don't have it I don't know maybe it's a different device maybe it's a Nokia phone I don't know okay so let's go under the microscope and check some things first because the people uh, I read the comments the people say sorry why you don't use you remember we use the power supply okay why you don't use the ohmmeter yeah the voltmeter not the voltmeter the ohmmeter the, the, the checking the ohms yeah like beeping yeah or uh, sorry why you don't use uh, to use the multimeter that was the question why you don't use the multimeter why you start with the power supply okay this time we'll use the multimeter and we'll try to draw the schematics I have a paper here and let's see what we can see starting from the battery yeah it's about what we can see inside the same like we go to the doctor what he can see inside he, he has to find an easy way to yeah okay good so you go on the battery connector oh sorry it's not on i'm alone only i and diana here today good so under the microscope we have the battery connector yeah okay that's the battery connector so you see there are uh, you have to figure it out what is with, with that pin keep in mind the power pin the plus and minus they you know they there are it's it's a lot of current going through so you'll have a big track or two pins like on this case so in this case you have two pins is carrying something i have no idea what yeah just ignore that we don't know we don't have the schema we don't look on the schematics we have two big pins here two big pins here so probably probably two are for plus and two for minus probably and you have the small pins which most likely is clock and data yeah so actually the processor is reading the data from the battery okay the easy way to check with the voltmeter on the diode mode or uh, off mode yeah let's go ohms ohms mode and my multimeter died oh, i did can't believe no it's changing it's working i heard the usb so the multimeter got disconnected okay so it's working now yeah so with the ohmmeter we go on ground you see this is ground did you see the screw all the screws probably are connected to ground ground and you go here and here you have like it's we try to figure it out which is ground so here we have like 80 kilo ohms yeah you can see on the ohmmeter 80 kilo ohms yeah 80 kilo ohms there 80 kilo ohms here yeah 
and here we have zero zero ohms a 0 0.6 ohms sorry on the other pin is the same 0 0.6 ohms so obviously these two pins are ground if these are ground the other one is plus okay so one more time what do we know by now one more time we know from plus to minus we have like 85 kilo ohms okay simple let's draw that yeah let's do it so again this is applying for any any phone or even on laptops so we do have the battery plus and minus yeah that's the battery ignore the data lines so what do we know by now we know from here to here it's a resistance resistance of 68 kilo ohms yeah 68 kilo ohms so uh, you know just based on this <coughs> because from now we can't check anything more we can figure it out the problem hmm? no really so i know i have a resistance of 68 kilo ohms b2 plus and minus and this is telling me nothing it's telling me it's not short so we don't have zero zero here we don't have short we have a resistance 68 kilo ohms this is telling me absolutely zero not really zero it's telling me there is no short but it is a resistance yeah but it's not really helpful you know it's not really helpful the next way to check the next way to check is diode mode because many people ask me sorry why diode mode why diode mode because you can see more okay diode mode let's check on the diode mode okay let's see microscope so on the diode mode on the same spot here yeah, it's more easy to get the ground from here instead of uh, going on the connector and I will go with the multimeter on the plus we know already this is plus okay this is not uh, diode mode diode mode So we have like 0 0.5 volts yeah you can see actually the diode mode how the diode mode mode is working is checking the circuit with voltage here yeah so here i have a little bit of voltage which is uh, you know is written by the multimeter so actually the voltage is here yeah it's not on the phone in the phone we have no voltage that's how the diode mode is working it's a voltage the diode mode is meant to check a voltage or a current passing a semiconductor okay and the easy way is to do it with, with voltage yeah? so here we have voltage let me check on the other multimeter so on my multimeter diode mode uh, so I will check with the on-screen multimeter sorry with the on screen multimeter i will check that multimeter which is on the diode mode so this i will switch on volts the on screen one is on volts and i will check this one so check there you can see we have 2.5 volts so my multimeter 
on that mode, the other multimeter, not this one. This one is it's 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 voltmeter right now. It's checking the voltage of that multimeter, which is on diode mode, and it's two point five volts. Yeah. Okay. So that's the way how the multimeter is checking uh, the semiconductors. Yeah. Even if you check diodes or transistors or yeah. So you see, this is a this is kind of a power supply coming on your uh, on your uh, iPhone board. And checking to see what happened with your voltage yeah on our case 2.5 volts like how is that multimeter okay so these uh, probes are from the multimeter go back on diode mode diode mode so on diode mode we have from here to here like what I said 0 0.5 volts yeah that's mean my multimeter my voltage is passing a semiconductor okay to ground so that's mean i do have a sorry i do have kind of diode or a let's say a, a semiconductor it's not right to say diode maybe it's a MOSFET maybe it's a i don't know something but anyway it's a it's a, it's a junction here a pn junction and the current is passing but the problem is 0 0.5 does mean my circuit is like that okay but this can can this can can mean a lot so here is not necessary to be like short it can be the circuit like my phone like my iphone like my main power supply my main power rail yeah can be the the load yeah that doesn't mean you have a short if you check any phone like a working phone you will have that kind of reading okay why am you always using the the power supply because the power supply it will supply like the multimeter voltage but more current so we will try to replicate a working situation like i'll take the power supply you can see the power supply on screen four volts is fine around two amps yeah okay so we can check just i want to access that power rail that's that's the idea ground and plus I check on the multimeter short it's not short it's like it's taking like 2.2 amps because that's the limit and the voltage get dropped to one uh, one uh, 1 1.1 volts but 2.2 amps for a phone doing nothing like the phone is off yeah it's a lot so what do I know now what do I know now? Now, after I check with the, uh, after I checked with the, uh, with the power supply, what do we know? We know here is a semiconductor because we checked on the diode mode, and also we know here is no phone. Here it's a wire to ground, okay? Because it's taking a lot of current and the resistance volts 1.1 volts or uh, current uh no it's wrong actually the voltage left there is coming from this uh, semiconductor yeah so that's why i don't have a short here and i have a short here and I know it's a semiconductor because I checked on the diode mode. Yeah. So you see, using the diode mode and the power supply, now we know for sure we have a short to ground after a semiconductor. Okay. The short is not here because here we have like 68 kilo ohms. Based on the diode mode, 
we have a semiconductor, we have a junction there, a PN junction, yeah? And based on the power supply, after this junction, we have a short. Okay? So, you see, just uh, using a few things, you can figure it out from outside. What's the problem inside? Give me one second. Yeah, it's it's just um, it's just um, a customer with an iPhone, yeah. And uh, he comes with a phone. The phone is matched here. You can see. So the customer is waiting there. Diana just gave me the phone. But look again. Look, look at the current. It's just a random customer. Look at the current. Look at the, that jumping current. You can see. Because you think, oh, okay, it's sorry, and these are not many problems. Yeah, are, are a lot. So I know for sure, I know for sure, my charging I see is fine. He's trying to output in the, the current, but he can't because there is a short. And this, uh, the switching power supply is it's shutting down the, the power. Give me one second. So you see, you see that thing, the customer just agree with the price to be repaired. So then I told him the problem. And I told him the problem. And now she goes to book in the job. It's so simple. Yeah. Just based on the current behavior. That's what I told you every time. Be, be, pay attention to the current. That's why I told you every time. Current, it will speak with you. Okay. Okay, let's go back on this one. So now going on the schematic, going on the schematic, and check our theory, yeah? Checking our theory. Yeah, we can fix all, even that one, it's fine. It's not a problem. We just, you know, just... A random customer on a random day, coming... A big coincidence doing a video about uh, a shorted main power rail, yeah? Yeah, so then I give him the receipt. Yeah, and everyone is happy. Now the job is with us and we can fix it. Let me plug back the HDMI. Okay, let's go on the schematic now. Uh, no microscope, sorry, not the schematic. This one. We're checking for plus. Yeah. We have here some test points. We can check straight on the test points. Yeah. Uh, but I said, I said we, we have a test point there. Yeah, let's check that test point. Let's go on the... Well, you know, do, 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 no, you know what? This is the plus of the battery, yeah? That's the plus of the battery. The plus of the battery is going here on few test points, capacitors, but also is going... Is going on the other side of the board. Look where, look where, yeah. So here you see this square. Actually, this is our uh, junction, our uh, uh, semiconductor. So you see the plus is going here, but also is going to this chip, which is tigress, which is this is the charging I see. Yeah. Actually, this is the charging I see, which is speaking with the other one with the tristar. But the charging I see is this one. So you see, our plus is going here or here. This is the MOSFET. You have three pins there. 
and you have five pins on the output five with three pins but these are together you can see the red dots yeah and after this you have the five pins together and gate this is a gate which again the gate is controlled by this tigress chip yeah so this is my main uh, power rail that's the diode which i draw it on the paper or actually it's a mosfet but that's not important yeah it's about for us to know there is a semiconductor and if i if i'm not wrong i think this has a diode inside on the parallel mode with the mosfet okay but I will have schematics soon. I ordered a, a ZXW USB dongle, so we'll see. Okay, so going back on the first board, we can check our main power rail. Here we have a dot here on the corner. Okay, so let's check that dot. Compare with ground, yeah? Uh, Okay, microscope. So that dot, that dot is our main 19 volts power rail, that one. Okay, so I'll take the multimeter, which is on diode mode and it's fine. Ground, it's a screw. Here. And look there, zero, zero. So my main 19 volts, no, no 19, sorry, my main uh, power rail, this power rail is it's meant to work from low voltage like very low voltage up to the charging voltage 4.2 okay so when the battery is discharged on this power rail probably be like 2 volts 2.8 and it's going up to 4.2 when it's charging 4.3 yeah when it's fully charged when you have a fully charged battery so you know the voltage is quite uh, wide yeah so you see on our main power rail we have a short well, on iphone that i'm trying to avoid just using the the board view on iphone yeah we have a dot here maybe you are on a different phone that's why i try to explain you how do you check with the diode mode and with the power supply just to see further same with the laptops same with the laptops on the back you have the two big pins which is plus and minus same like that you can come there with the power supply and check to see if your main power rail is shorted i haven't done a video like that but i will do it next on the next video when we are fixing a motherboard left the motherboard i will do it starting from the battery not from the charging port following the two mosfets no 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 we will do it starting from the battery yeah okay now i will give the i will give the the phone to diana to take the board out so we can go further and see what the problem is something is shorted what is shorted i will show you Diana. Okay, what can be shorted there? A lot of things. So each red dot. Sorry. Is going to something which must can be shorted. Can be shorted. Yeah, so you see, you have some capacitor groups. You have capacitor, capacitor, you have a chip here, you have a, a chip here, and if I go on the other side of the board, it's even worse. <laughs> there are a lot. Just look how many how many dots, red dots, has this uh, power management chip, yeah? So this chip you have your capacitor this chip you have more capacitor here even the Wi-Fi the Wi-Fi chip and here again like basically it's going everywhere yeah so each one of these red dots can be can be a short on our main power rail now if you if you uh, 
I can't see other way working on a shorted power rail apart from the power supply. But if it will be to use, let's say, use multimeter or uh, I don't know. You can start removing components to a point when actually you remove the faulty one, which is long. It's it's proper long, yeah. Okay. Let's wait for the for the board. But I'm curious. So they they uh, the, the the people from the other shop, Jason and Patrick, they swap the board to the new case, and they replace the screen, and now the board is shorted. Like it happened to us, we with us when the phone was with us, not with the customer. So I'm curious, what can be? Is their their fault? They did something wrong there, or actually it's just a pure coincidence? Okay. Thank you. So the board is out. You see the board was never been opened. So I don't think it's something what they could cause in this case. You can see. So I want access here. Here I want access. And here I need access. I don't know. Because it can be anything, that's the problem. I want access here, I want access here, I want access on the Wi-Fi, I want access on the processor, I want access here. can be anything, can be ev anywhere. But I just want to do a short inspection. Just to see if it's possible like they do something wrong, especially where the power rail is outside, and outside is on the Wi-Fi chip. So no, everything looks fine. I can't see anything wrong. Because obviously first things what you think, the phone was working before you change the case and the screen. Yeah. So what do I want to check more is to check here. Uh, and that's all, there's nothing more that I can check. So I have to take this thing out and check inside, yeah? Let's get that thing out. This is just a shield. Okay. So where we can check, where we can check our uh, main uh, power rail, here on the back. So we know the battery is coming here, and this is the main power rail, so we can check we have here two capacitors. We have, we can check everywhere where it's a capacitor. We can check anywhere. On any red dot, we can check our power rail, yeah? So let's see. So identifying the things. Identifying the things according with the board view. Here is that MOSFET which I told you. So the battery is coming here, three pins, and it's going out five pins here. And where is the dot? Actually, is the gate. So I said here is my main 90 volts power rail. That's what I said. Yeah, you remember? Let me check to be sure. 
you have to pay, pay attention you know when you come with the power supply and you are trying supplying the power yes there yeah so I'll take the power supply I'll connect the ground what I, what I, what I will connect the ground simple like how I told you I'll connect the ground to one of these holes yeah here or here here I think it's it's okay or here anywhere okay so ground is connected okay now we have the plus wire and we are going there so with the plus wire we are going here and here here we have no short what about with the ground with the ground we have short what so the ground is connected because when I touching this is going the voltage is going down the power supply is going on short you can see but no here let's go back to the battery connector plus and it's not short it's not short anymore that's crazy so the ground is connected to the ground to this thing we know the ground is connected because I can short with this ground uh, with this ground yeah you see now it's short because this is ground yeah but the plus is not shorted anymore so the board is fine but they cause something so I'm just curious to see what they could cause because obviously now with the board outside of the phone it's not short so what they could cause there hmm? hard to say hard to say but let's get the body and let's try to put it all back together and find exactly the problem so in this case it's not a coincidence it's their fault they did something wrong okay on the first things what I will do I will connect only the battery and the charger charging port and we are going from there So we are connecting the charging port and the battery. So let's try now and plug the charger. Check the current. 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.4 0 0.5 0 0.6 0 1.4 amps 1.3 amps you can see that so the phone is charging fine now the board is fine so if I will be now yeah did you hear the, the, the charging sign no let's connect the screen so we can see exactly on the screen
Okay, let's connect the battery. Connect the charger. Yeah, the phone is coming on and it's working fine. You can see the, the current. So it's something related with any, I don't know, connector. So what I will do, uh, I should disconnect the battery. Okay. Let's connect back everything. So everything meaning this, this, this connector. We have the camera. This connector. Uh, let's try now. Let's try first checking on uh, on that dot. Yeah, that dot is diode mode. Okay. And it's no short. There is no short. Okay, that's interesting. So what is shorted then? What can be outside? This is outside. These capacitors are outside. Let's see on the other side. The SIM card jacket, I think, has a plus. Uh, no. No. No, let's see the other connector. This connector doesn't have a... How can I make this? Minus, minus, no working. Okay. Uh, this. So this connector doesn't have. This not. This connector, no. Is not uh, a track to main power rail. This doesn't have a track to main power rail, so this they cannot short this. So you see the question is what they could do to short the main uh, power rail. This connector is no. So it must be something which is connected straight to this power rail. Here. And this is that kind of weird fault. When the, co the fault is caused by someone. And it's no natural. Mm. Let's have a look a bit more. On the charging port, do we have uh, our main uh, the charging port? No, it's not. That's interesting. Hmm? You see, that's a strange fault. Yeah. 
Here we have these capacitors which are connected according with the according with the uh, no on this side, not the other side. This this one's from here. This they are connected to our main power rail. Yeah. And we have here one more capacitor, which I have to pay attention. And here one more capacitor. So these are the outside, the outside spots where actually something can get shorted. So the board is coming like that. Definitely they did something wrong. Well let me I will take the multimeter. I'll take the one with the beeping, yeah? My one the bench one which you can't see it. I'll connect this to ground. This this dot. Okay, now I'll push. Nothing. Okay, that's weird. So what was the problem? You see, this is that kind of fault which drive you crazy. Okay, seems to be fine. Let's try one more time. Multimeter. Minus. And nothing. You know what? It's not short. I'll give to Dana to put all back together. Maybe it's related with the screws? Who knows? Give me one second.
Let me check with the connectors inside. And it's no short. So they they I will check the video after. The possible this metal bit from here. I think that one was on the back of the board, but I will check the video. And that can explain this one. What? I think this one is supposed to be on the back of the board and this one on the top, yeah? Or no? Yes. Oh yeah, that is supposed to be on the back of the board. Okay. Okay, I'll tell Diana to... ...to put it back. Yeah, it's my fault. And that metal is possible. That metal can short our board. give to Diana you know when they have something to be open so I'm not very good with screws position and things like that yeah okay now it's better This start being a nice video and ending up being a boring one. Let's check. No, it's not short. Give me one second. But you know what, it's, it's you know, if, if you don't find a problem, it can happen again. That's Hopefully with the screws, it will be shorted again. I was hoping, you know, we have a shorted something, you know, a chip, a capacitor, a something. Maybe next time. Maybe on the other iPhone. Maybe on the other one. Yeah, we'll do it on this video. The weekend is coming. Give me one second.
Okay, so then I put it all back together. Let's check for short one more time. It's short. Yeah, checking with this multimeter. So exactly, it's on that mode, exactly on same dot from here. Zero, zero. So it's short. So something is wrong with a screw hole or it's... Can be a long screw damage, I don't know. But I will open each screw. I will open each one. To see exactly what can be wrong here. Let's open that one. And it's still short. Let's open this one. I need Diana screwdrivers. Uh, okay, give me one second. Give me one second. I'll take Diana screwdriver. One second. So we took that screws out, that screw out. I see my beeping one. And it's still short. Let's take the connectors out. Okay. The charging port. Still short. Still short. Let's take this screw out. Still short. Let's take this metal thing out. Let's check now. Still short. Still short. So we have only these screws left. This one. And it's not short anymore. Yeah. I was checking with my uh, with my beeping one. So I'll check on the on the on the multimeter. It's not short. So something related to that screw. Okay. Yeah. So they use, let me open the other one, they use a long screw, they create a long screw damage on the board, which is shorting the plus. Here. And you can see it's inside of the, oh you can't see, sorry, I'm really sorry. Here. So keep in mind, keep in mind, if you play here with long screw, you'll create a long screw damage on the plus uh, power rail. And this is a happy case, yeah? Yeah. 
yeah, you can see you can see the connector pushed out here here you can see here look so the connector obviously if you plug a long screw it will push out the thingy and it has a deep hole on the board can't believe that was the issue that was the problem so without that screw the phone is working that's crazy they are so lucky so they are so lucky Okay, I will give Sudana to put all back together, but not that screw. Let's test it. Let's get a multimeter. Ground. So it's not short. Well, this is a very bad idea to play on that. I still can't see what what can get shorter there. And now it's not short. So maybe when you have a bridge and it's pulling out the thingy, maybe on that point, I don't know. I don't even want to replicate the fault. I don't even want to replicate the fault. Give me one second. We'll uh, open the other phone, yeah? Quite busy today. A lot of people around. Of course, I don't want to take that thing down and check. It's a long screw damage. The things can go a lot more wrong. Just compare with a power rail, a shorted power rail. Who knows how many trucks are there on that small hole? Give me one second.
Okay, after that one, we have to do this one. You remember? You plug the charger and the voltage was jumping up and down. But the phone was booked in for a no power motherboard. Then I will open and I will check. Yeah, give me one second. Okay. Thank you so much for that. One second, one second, huh? Give me a second. Okay, so it's all back together. Uh, need one more screw here, okay. Let me check. And it's not short, okay, that's great.
So actually she can put the metal bridge with two screws, but not the one on the middle with the problem. It's just an example, you know, how the things can go wrong. So they did something wrong, probably they used a longer screw there. But this is a happy case, so actually you can fix the problem. But if you try a long screw drop damage on on the older phones, you don't know, it's, 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 it's end of story. Okay, let's see now. Let's see now if we have short. No, it's not short. You can see on the multimeter. So all the screws are there. If we connect the cables, Come on, go inside. Okay, the battery. Everything is back together. Charging fine, it's coming on. Obviously the phone must be checked, just to be sure, you know, everything is fine, it's no SIM card. The screen digitizer is working, but you have to check the signal, you have to check the camera and everything. But anyway, <laughs> that was the problem, okay? Let's start with the other one. Give me a second. Okay, the phone has a on screen home button, so probably the the touch, the fingerprint is not working anyway. The battery is charged one hundred percent, so it's fine. Happy case, happy case. I'm just opening the, the seven. So the seven with uh, you know with the bump one second.
ओके आई थिंक विल बी अ लॉन्ग डे आईफोन सेवन लेट्स सी आईफोन सेवन On the iPhone 7, we can go straight to a pin and check. It's not seven. Oh, it is seven. It is seven. For seven, we have plus. It's going here and here. Yeah, we have this dot is main uh, power rail. You can check that on that dot. You see, P P V D D main. So we can check there for sure. But based on the fact the phone is bent on the back, so very possible, uh, probably some mechanical thing, which is uh, touching some uh, capacitor or something. We'll see. Because did happen when. Uh, the phone was banned. We'll see, we'll see. We'll see. Let's see. So let's see, the phone is open. We'll go with the multimeter straight on that point. This one. And it's not short. That's cool. Let's check with the charger. Give me one second. Okay, let's check. Let's come with a power supply. Power supply. Ground. Plus is not short. Minus is five. So we don't have a shorted power rail. That's that's interesting, huh? Yeah, yeah. That's that's A plus. Let's see the battery. Battery is very low. With 2.2 amps, you have only 4 volts. And it's charging fine, 1.9 amps. Okay, so this one is the charging IC issue. Let me check with the screen, yeah, give me one second. What? Oh, I didn't plug the battery, sorry. The battery is plugged. And we have a charging side on the screen, if you can see it. You can see it? So you see on the iPhone case, when you have a dead battery, it will not charge. When you have a charging IC issue. On the normal case, it will charge. Okay? I'll not do a charging IC replacement right now. We done before, okay? So it's nothing special. I was thinking, you know what? 
I was thinking we have a shorted main uh, power rail, but it wasn't the case. That's that's strange. That's that's curious. Because if I take out the battery, yeah, if I take out the battery, so now the battery is out. Plug the charger. And it's doing the same thing, but it's not supposed to do. So I know exactly what, what the phone with a dead battery is doing. It's not doing something like that. So you see, it's because of the charging I see is burnt. The TriStar, sorry. Some people call that chip charging, I see. But it's not supposed the voltage to jump like that. It's not supposed the voltage, the, the current to jump like that. Like now, now the battery is disconnected. It's disconnected. But this is not supposed to happen. Obviously now the battery has some power on it. And it will start charging. That's weird because I did replace many TriStar I see, but I never seen this kind of behavior. Like the the current is jumping. 1.9 amps is charging fine. Okay, I'll stop this video. Probably will see you tomorrow on the power supply. Yeah, I ordered the the board, the PCB. The PCB arrived. I ordered the ferric chlo chloride. Yeah. So what we'll do tomorrow, we'll do the short circuit protection, the fan control, and the board. Okay. This is fine charging. Fine, it's taking 1.9 amps, but the charging IC must be replaced. But the charging IC is different story, so obviously it will be different price from what we told to the customer. So we'll call the customer, tell him the price, see if it's he has agree agreeing with the price, and after that we replace the the TriStar IC. Okay, I'll stop now. Nearly the lunch break. It was a long video, one hour and a half. I can't believe. Yeah, there's no point in replacing the chip right now. Yeah, it's coming on. iTunes. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. I don't think I can fix this. Okay. You know what I think it, it, it happened on this phone? You know what I think? But that's just my opinion. Obviously, I can't reload the software without the customer uh, to agree with that. I believe the software already was reloaded. So, I believe the star being uh, after this band here he coming with a looping thing which is from the audio ac he said he goes with the phone in a different show the people mis uh, misunderstood the fault so actually they were they was thinking the fault is actually a software issue they reload the software and they got 401 free error 401 free or 4014 and that's the point when I actually I can't do anything. But I will ask him. I will reload the software. And I'm sure I will get an error. But I will check. But most likely that will happen with this. <laughs> okay. So thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And see you on the next one. Yeah. Bye.